Hello, hello everyone. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, I will record this um, meeting with Natalia Gritsenko, a wonderful um, magnetic, uh, international magnetic educator from Ukraine. And we will talk today about fiber codes, your favor favorite fiber codes, and I'm cleaning up my jars here, um, to um, versus, uh, so let me join, go live, versus the rubber uh, coats, the new rubber coats. Hello, everyone. It's uh, nice to see you. So, Natalia, привет. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hi. Oh, you have such yeah, a beautiful good. background. Oh, my God. Yes, I prepared. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You see, I have your crown on myself. <laughs> it, it's not mine, it's ours. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> well, you, I saw, I know you created that, isn't it? Uh, no, no, actually, uh, this is like uh, uh, we decided at the office that we have to oh. do something. Uh, it was actually Katerina's idea about that. Okay. And uh, then I just, and uh, Katerina wanted to have something like that, and I wanted to have eyelashes. That's the best. Because <laughs> That, that now I have no makeup, and normally when we have to do something, we need some makeup. And mm -hmm. I was thinking that the uh, lashes are actually the best way, so that's why I interfered a bit, and we got lashes. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, nice to see you. We waited a couple of minutes until everybody's joining. I will also yeah. uh, download this video for YouTube, so people in YouTube can also w watch us later. So we will hopefully save this video. And um, I asked you to come today to talk to me about this new rubber bases because I am mm -hmm. married with Magnetic for 10 years. I never used any other products. So I don't know if it's yeah. a good or bad thing. Uh, but people are talking about rubber bases all the time and now finally we've got one. And I am absolutely yeah. a fan from uh, the fiber coat. So please tell us more, show us whatever you want and we will, and I will ask my questions because I have tons. Yeah, that, that, that's absolutely okay. And also, I prepared some, uh, yeah, some um, tips already. So I also can show the difference in colors and all these things. So excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but before so, we all start, we start. The, the, all the colors are already available for pre-order online. So if, you, uh, if somebody wants to buy them right away, you can pre-order them already in my online shop. So, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, Honestly to say, when we started, uh, when we only started to have building bases, I already was very, very in love with them. And then after this, we started to have uh, fiber cords. And, oh, I just was trying to put this because, you know, I'm just growing up my hair again. I like your hair, by the way. Thank you. Look, yeah, you look really very cool. And with this crown, you look like, oh my God, like a queen. <laughs> like a prince. <laughs> like a queen now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, fiber coat really uh, absolutely cool product and honestly to say it's my favorite one. And I also want uh, maybe just uh, to show to you maybe a bit later, I have on my other phone the picture where we can see little fiber particles. Mm -hmm. Because these two products, they are completely different. So these little fiber particles in fiber gel uh, and uh, we don't have any fiber particles obviously in um, uh, rubber base. So to me, uh, fiber coat is really absolutely cool and you can do whatever you want with this. What I love about fiber gel that it has less heating reaction in LED lamp, mm -hmm. which is perfect. Uh, and it is because of that that we have these little fiber particles because they're taking on themselves, they're heating the temperature. Okay, I didn't know that. So uh, obviously, uh, like we also have a fiber gel, but this uh, fiber gel will also have these little particles, but that particle is even smaller. In the fiber coat are smaller? No, in fiber coat we have bigger because bigger. you can literally see them. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So uh, fiber coat, you also, you can pinch it. You yeah. can pinch, pinch fiber as flexible as it is and you can still pinch it? You, you still can pinch, pinch it and it will keep its shape. And of course, you know that fiber coat, it's not for the long shape. If you want to create a long shape, it's better to use just something different, different product like uh, or fiber, fiber coat. <laughs> 
Oh, sorry. I always, <laughs> sorry, I'm messing up. Okay, okay. Yes, fiber, fiber gel or any sculpting product. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for if you want to create a sculpting uh, nail, then you have to use sculpting product. Fiber coat, building base, and rubber base, they are for natural nails. Mm -hmm. But still, it's possible to make little extension with that. Mm -hmm. That's but absolutely possible. Uh, building base i didn't announce it but of course we can talk about it we have the building base for gel polish it was our first uh, product yeah. for the natural nail uh, to to strengthen the nail underneath of the gel polish um but it is well you probably would tell explain it better yeah, right, just yeah. this, this is another time let's let's <laughs> talk about this other, another time so then we'll Perfect. have more of this uh, live streams uh, I would say that fiber coat is absolutely amazing if you want to have this perfect gel polish application. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you can see the picture in uh, Instagram or in Facebook or in social media when you have this absolutely sharp um, highlights. So actually, the easiest way to get it if you are using fiber coat. Okay. Yeah. That because we will we already discussed it with Katrina, uh, and uh, we totally agree with each other that if you want to have this absolutely perfect application with flawless, uh, um, how to say, uh, these um, highlights, mm -hmm. then fiber coat is the best choice for that. Mm -hmm. But again, you know that rubber base already on the market, it's already for a couple of years. Yes, and especially in Ukraine, where I live now, and where actually I'm staying now because of Corona and all these things, we have these rubber bases for many years. And uh, for me, being a nail tech, no, I'm I'm also was uh, working not with clients but with models, and I also was trying actually to work uh, on their hands. Uh, and I noticed that if you are trying to pile this rubber base, cheap ones. They smell like a crazy. Okay. Yes. So actually, uh, they are not completely, and I, all time I was a bit like, okay, what is that? Okay, it's rubber base. But we didn't have rubber base, so, and I was okay with that. And then company said, we're well, going to have rubber base. Awesome. And it was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I tested this, and it was in February, as you remember that, um, Anouk from our office, she had uh, these very bright uh, nails. I, ma I made these nails for sure. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, I was working on her nails with uh, rubber base. And I would say that I like that product because to me, it looks absolutely different than that rubber base that we have already at our market. Okay. <laughs> I hope I did not confuse you. No, not at all. <laughs> no. Well, all products are different. They, they can be called the same. Because probably yeah. the idea is the same, but they have it's different a market, workability. It's a, market, it's a marketing step because, you know, if you have a client and she heard already rubber base and she's coming to you and she's asking rubber base and you are saying, yeah, rubber base is okay, but we have fiber, uh, fiber coat, she, in your brain, she wants to have rubber base. Absolutely. And, and that's absolutely okay and that's absolutely fair because to me it would be the same. Like if I want to have certainly this product, I want to have this product. Mm -hmm. So then, and I'm really happy that Magnetic created this beautiful rubber base that we have now because uh, in my opinion, it's absolutely different product that I have been not using but filing before. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> filing off and you know what I, I started each myself when I was filing this off <laughs> that's not funny <laughs> because I'm working with magnetic for 16 years and I never had any allergy reaction never <laughs> but after filing that funny rubber base I started to feel like my uh, skin is itching and actually it's not good at all Rubber base uh, that magnetic is made, okay, rubber base by magnetic is absolutely different product. First of all, it's made according to European rules and according uh, to uh, quality that, uh, that actually uh, applying for cosmetic product. So when we are keeping in our hand uh, rubber base, it's 100% cosmetic product. It's not only the product that you can apply on the top of the nail, but all components here, they're absolutely safe. That's great. Well, I'm proud yeah. to be magnetic because I know all of our products are safe. According to European guidelines that are much, much stronger 
than North American. Even like Canadian are stronger than US as far I know. But um, even that is nothing comparable to European. And because we are sold in so many countries, we have to kind of follow all these rules. So there are a lot of uh, little things we have to watch before we bring new product on the market. Yeah, that, that's true. Mm -hmm. uh, so comparing to uh, fiber coat, then rubber base is a bit thinner. In application, like it's in application, right? mm -hmm. yes, yeah, in application. Uh, I so actually, no, it looks like the same, but still, it's it's slightly thinner. Mm -hmm. So it also has amazing uh, self leveling uh, property. So okay. it's really it, it's self leveling very quickly, uh, and uh, yeah, this is just. A, just beautiful <laughs> well, <laughs> both of them both of them by the way you can soak off in acetone oh okay perfect well i never soak yeah. but it's probably uh, good for everybody who is soaking yeah so, so so for people especially for people who are doing this finally that you you can do it um both of them it's better to use on the natural meal mm -hmm. Uh, about rubber base, uh, you also can use it. Uh, oh, Na Nadia. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nadia from Israel. Hi, hi, Israel. <laughs> uh, so, rubber base, you also can use as adhesive layer. For any other product? For everything. For okay. everything. So, for instance, if you have a client and this client has completely damaged nails or especially wet hands, you know, when we are meeting our client, we are shaking our hands. Not and then we... <laughs> Okay, I hope it will finish soon, you know, still, it will finish Me too. soon. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> so and uh, and when you see that uh, and you feel that the skin is wet, mm -hmm. this is one hundred percent that this client has very flexible, very thin, and very wet nail. Okay. And then we have a problem actually with application because on these nails normally not many product will stay okay. And a lot of them will leak. So that's why a lot of nail techs they are using acid uh primers. Mm -hmm. just to be sure that their product will not um will not lift mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i will use i was using before the seal and protect so i would leave it now out using the rubber base or would yeah, you, 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 you can skip it okay so you know uh, this is just of course you you can still continue using this because you know still seal and protect uh, actually it's uh, alternative to uh, primer. Yes. But it's not the base layer. That's right. <laughs> uh, would you use primer under the rubber base? Uh, it's up to you. You can use it or it's not. That, that's yeah. that's okay because okay. It, has, it has very good adhesion itself. Okay. Perfect. But if you want to be safe and sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My... <clears throat> Okay, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I just very nicely put it and I did not see that actually just sliding because I'm so, I started emotionally <laughs> moving. <laughs> okay, so uh, you can use it, uh, as I said, like uh, instead of, okay, I just want to move it. You, you can use it instead of uh, yeah, like any any base, okay. and especially and especially you can use it for any base for any other product. So mm -hmm. it it also it's like depends on the client. If you have an, a client and she's coming and you see that actually she has very weak nails and especially wet nails, then the best choice will be just to use a uh, rubber base as a base adhesive layer. Mm -hmm. Do I understand it correct that this is rubber base that called like rubber that is kind of um, because I'm always trying to, un to to understand. So if I have a weak yeah, nail and put little cushion on it and put a stronger product over it, it will uh, arm 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 arm. Yeah, I, 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 I understand what you mean. So I would say that uh, rubber base, uh, because it's quite thin product, it also uh, going inside of the nail in the very top layers. Mm -hmm. And then it's becoming like a part of the nail. 
Mm -hmm. And because we're applying it in very thin layer, of course, it will be not like a cushion. Mm -hmm. Because if you apply it in very thick, so then we can have a chance uh, to have some troubles. Mm -hmm. But if you apply it just a very thin top, adhesive, uh, uh, sorry, uh, base adhesive layer, then it will be okay. Okay, I understand. Good. Well, does, it does it make sense? Absolutely. Super. <laughs> yeah, because I'm always trying to understand, like when a client is coming and asking, uh, or have this and this problem, and I'm trying to um, understand to why understand you put the, 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 the picture in, in, your, in your own head. So yeah. then it will be easier for you to explain. I understand you completely because actually I, I, I'm, I'm the same. If I see it in my head, so then, then it's okay. But, but first I have to understand how it's working. Yeah, yeah, that is. Perfect. Uh, so uh, again, for instance, uh, if I have a client and she's coming to me and she's asking like, uh, what should I buy, this or that? Mm -hmm. Green, green or black, green or pink. Uh, then uh, perhaps I have to ask her uh, how she's going to use it, what mainly clients, what clients she has. Because if she's working only on natural meals without any extensions, then I will suggest her to use rubber bases. Okay. Because on rubber bases, we can make little extension, but very little one. Mm -hmm. And when we are working with fiber coat, we can uh, make not long extension, again, little one, but we also can use it on tip, for instance. And rubber base not? Rubber base is too flexible. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So we cannot sculpt a nail, kind of, if, to fake a little no. bit of thickness of the nail with a rubber base. Yeah. So you apply it so, to uh, thin one layer? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, because the rubber base is too runny and it's not completely possible, like, uh, to, to, to build up the nail. Okay. So, and again, you know, when we're building up the nail, we want to pinch it sometime. And we cannot pinch it. <laughs> that makes sense, <laughs> pinching. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's a lot of information. I will probably watch it again and <laughs> make my notes. <laughs> But I understand it so far. That's awesome. Yeah, so uh, I would say that, that that's a really amazing product. And also what I like about that product is that it has also like different shades mm -hmm. that uh, you, 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 you just can apply just directly on the nail and then uh, seal it with top gel. Uh, and we have a lot of top gels, you know that. I think that uh, we are only company that has at least, I think, about 10 top gels, something like that. So for any taste. <laughs> and, so we, just and we just brought another new one out just because we didn't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it just it was not enough. <laughs> I think and we will have way. to make another one because I have the book and I was reading the book about top gels and we will probably make another stream about top gels, please, next month. Beautiful. Next month or next week? Let's do it next, next week. We will, I have to check my schedule. We'll have a, um, a, some state holidays next week, so we'll have to see. Okay, okay, just let me know, then we will do it. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and by the way, uh, this uh, fiber cord, oh, sorry, uh, rubber bases. <laughs> rubber bases. <laughs> they will look absolutely beautiful if you will uh, cover them with new cat eye top gel. Mm -hmm. They will look absolutely gorgeous. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How, I have only 10 nails. How can I try it all on my nails? <laughs> hey, you are nail tech. You can wear all different nails. No, you are not only nail tech. You are nail trainer. You are allowed to, to wear all different well, nails. Well, you know, I did it in my past 10 years. I always had different hands. It's probably the first year that I have two nails. <laughs> Beautiful new color uh, from last year, by the way. The Cinderella. Yeah. Yeah, so Cinderella is beautiful. I also I would like to show to you actually the yes, shade, the colors. Yeah, is it yes, okay? Please. Yes, absolutely. Then, then, then I will go uh, to the other camera view. Just a second. Just a second. Yeah, I just have to do like that, and then like that. Woohoo! Then I will put my camera a bit down. Is it okay with lightning? Uh, so far, yes. Good. <clears throat> so, if we see, if we have a look at our, I already prepared the tips. 
so this one is warm cover and I think you should hold it a little bit uh, higher up because on the bottom there are some comments and then people can like hi, yes like uh, higher up in the in the picture like, okay okay yeah. So it's uh, this one that I hold now. It's uh, da, 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 da. it's a cool cover, I think. Oh, that's so beautiful! And this is actually one layer, and you see oh. that it's clear. Yeah, that's awesome. So it look it looks absolutely nice. So it's like camouflage. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait! I just camera ups. Yeah. Uh huh. Perfect. So, so it's it's almost like a nude pyro gel, but a little bit pinker, right? A, a, a bit, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. And we have another one. Uh, this is it was cool cover, and this one will be warm cover. Just a second. It's a clear because I have. Four. <laughs> yeah. No, it's intense. Yeah, this is warm cover. This layer just slightly thinner. It's also camouflage. Mm -hmm. Warm cover. Wait, wait, wait. Can we... Yeah. Yes. It's a warm cover. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's so not as covering as it, the other one, or the layer is thin. Uh, it's it, it just slightly thinner, but it's still covering. It's okay. just slightly thinner, th uh, thinner layer. So I also made it just to, uh, then we can compare how intensive color is. Mm -hmm. So in, in very thin layer, it looks like that. Mm -hmm. Looks not bad at all. This color is slightly like peach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It yes. has more orange in it, like more A peachy. Orange, yeah. Yes. Peachy, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, actually, and it's a good idea that we have both of them because we can use it for different skin tone. Absolutely. So, normally, like warm cover and uh, cool cover, they are camouflages. Mm -hmm. So, they are camouflages and we just will remember that. Mm -hmm. Then, next one... <clears throat> We have intense pink and frosted pink. Uh, intense pink, it's like clear. But by the way, our ladies, uh, I saw them in Ukraine, they made uh, some nails with intense pink and it looked absolutely nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would say that this is for uh, like for more tan skin tone. Is it comparable with the fiber pink, a fiber coat pink from the shade? Uh, nope. Not oh because God, it's, it's more intensive. Yeah, it's pink, pink, pink. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like old style nail polish when we did that pink nail polish. Yes, like yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. but, but again, it's like slightly semi transparent, and you can use it just as a base and then seal it with top gel, and that's it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So. Nice. This is in very thin uh, layer. It looks yeah. It's, you see that I just made it just to show to you that it's uh, transparent. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not camouflage. It's a transparent. Next one is frosted pink, and frosted pink. It's also very transparent, mm -hmm. and it's the same style but a bit peachy. Mm hmm. I would say that this is for more pale skin. No, yeah, well, I would, wanted to say that's my color. That's what I yeah. would wear. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely for pale skin. It's not for... Just wait, I just will find... E -E -E, I find focusing. Focus. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, so, and you can already see how leveled it is on the brush. So it's really self-leveled. Yeah, it, it, it's really absolutely... Semi, yes, like it's a self leveling. You know, you know, now I'm laughing that uh, to build a nail, we are using now nail art brushes, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we have clear one. Oh, okay, yeah. uh, and clear one is just clear, so I did not put anything on the tip. 
Yeah, because this is just like, show the clear teeth and it will be yeah clear. you know yeah this is just clear teeth <laughs> so it's uh okay. what is good about that gel that that's absolutely clear you see how clear it is like mm-hmm. a tear mm-hmm. clear like a tear oh <laughs> that's awesome and uh what also you can do with that gel you also can uh fix uh, rhinestones on them as well hmm Mhm. Now I want let's make experiment. Oh, can I ask a question? Of course, sure. Um can I use clear in two coats with a uh, uh, glitter spray or not? Or should I better use something else on top of it as a second coat? Um so you, you you just want to uh, to put uh, into this gel uh there uh blah, 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 glitter, glitter spray yes. yes so usually glitter i would take a uh, gel polish uh, base on top yeah. would apply the yeah. first layer sprinkle the glitter mm-hmm. cure and apply second layer top coat and the client leaves because i also have a uh, webinar tomorrow about the glitter sprays and mm-hmm. i wanted to ask that question so i can tell about it tomorrow Actually I would I would say that that that's absolutely possible. So uh just a uh, base layer of clear you mean? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Base layer of clear and then uh glitter into that. Mm-hmm. But then you have to seal it with top gel. So on, yeah, on, top, on top of gli- glitter then uh, the the gel polish build not not this one then. Wait wait wait. So first this one. Mm-hmm. Then uh this one and then glitter cure. Mhm. And then seal it with top gel. Like sugar effect, it will not work because no, no, it has no, sticky sugar residue. effect. But I usually even uh, gel, for example, gel polish base on top. I would use probably even two layers on top to make it absolutely even. But okay, I I get what you say. If I take th- thicker top gel, it will work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or or uh, again, you can use this one as well. But then, in any way, you have to seal it with top gel. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So because it's so, so transparent, then you can see it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It, it's still. It's, it's very trans. It, this one is extremely transparent. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now, uh, let's take. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Frosted pink, for instance. I just want to show to you also actually the way how we can. Because I want. I want to prove my words. Uh it's not only because I want to persuade you but but this is also how I was checking myself to un- trying to understand how it's working. Okay. <laughs> so I put here and you see that it's already very nicely self leveling. Mm-hmm. And now one and a half minute in LED light. Okay. One and a half um because because i want it to i want to be 100% sure that it's cured mm-hmm. and on the same time i will do fiber coat yeah white for instance doesn't matter because i want to show to you and when we are taking the fiber coat we can see like little particles mm-hmm. you see that it's like little particles inside when we are not touching this uh, it's 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 not it's itself leveling but still these particles are there and while i'm curing in uv light i will show to you the picture yeah. yes please done. because i don't think i have it on my ipad <clears throat> that's not a problem so and you see this, this is also a very nicely self leveling mm-hmm. it's a fiber it's a fiber coat mm-hmm. again one and a half minute I have a client with amazingly long natural nails and we do fiber coat she goes 5 to 6 weeks they grow yeah. out and she doesn't break anything it doesn't lift and anything the fiber coat absolutely amazing and with a little bit of uh, oh magda is here hi magda a little bit oh of, magda the art hi magda <laughs> bringing it to the center and it's just perfectly shaped and absolutely amazing yeah okay. uh, you know you know sometimes we also can have a client like uh some clients they are wearing nails really very nice but some clients they are 
they are a bit funny <laughs> and they can do very different uh, and strange things. And again, uh, we have a client, uh, they are normal ones, I mean, they are good ones and they are taking care about their nails, but problem is that they have very weak nails. So in that way, what I will do, I just will remove the cover from my phone, then you will see it better. Oh God, I need to remove it. <clears throat> Uh, and for that clients, I would suggest to use uh, that beautiful Oh yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. So this is mm -hmm. fiber particles that we have in fiber code. That's absolutely beautiful picture. Mm-hmm. So you literally can see them. You can take it yourself, just take your macro camera. Mm -hmm. And this picture was made one of our trainer, beautiful trainer, beautiful pictures, mm -hmm. super cool. Yeah, I also have now one of those um, things for taking uh, macro pictures, and I also did that uh, myself too, so I could really see that. So it's not a, a fake, <laughs> it's a real thing. <laughs> yeah. So now uh, this is my pink one. It was look how self leveling it is. Ta -da -da. It was rubber base. And you see that uh, when we're removing our sticky residue, it's shiny, but still it's not like completely shiny. So it means that it's flexible gel and we need a uh, top coat on top of that. Mm -hmm. I will remove it from the nail form. Hello, Magda. Finally, we are talking in English because every time when I do uh, something uh, in for Ukrainian market in Ukrainian language, Magda is coming and I cannot talk to her because <laughs> then, look, what, look what I can do with That's rubber base. That's amazing. That is absolutely yeah. amazing. You, you can yeah. do it with any other <laughs> product. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I actually, I, I turn it into little tube, you see? Yeah. <laughs> Magda, we will put it on my YouTube too, so you can uh, show it to your um, uh, clients. And also, what is uh, what I also noticed when I did it before, when I roll it like that, and then I just left it on the table. After a couple of hours, it went back. It went completely straight. Uh huh. And it means that it's you cannot not... uh, pinch it. Nope. Okay. I see. I learned because, something from you this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rolling, rolling. So, and now let's check. Actually, I would say that, because I know that already, that with fiber coat, we will have very similar. We also can roll it. But with fiber coat, actually, it can stay for some time like that. It will not be open so quickly. Mm -hmm. Still opening, but yeah, this is just a bit too thin. So that's why we cannot use these products, both of them, to build up the nail like we are mm -hmm. sculpting nail. Mm -hmm. But we can use it just to reinforce the natural nail for beautiful, ideal um, manicure uh, and for very short extension. But again, I would say that uh, I would prefer to use uh, fiber coat on tips or on nail forms. But again, I would not create uh, the extension uh, with fiber coat. I would do it always maybe with power gel, with, with, with some hard gels. Mm -hmm. So then uh, then I would be sure that, that everything is working okay. So this is actually, you see that both of them, they're very flexible, fiber coat, rubber base. But rubber base will open after some time. Mm -hmm. It's what? much flexible product than rubber base, than, than fiber coat, sorry. Okay. Uh, are there any mistakes you can make uh, applying them? Something like applying it too thick and many coats, not under curing, and so on, that will bring to like disaster or something like bad results? Uh, so I would say, oh, by the way, I also would like to show to you, sorry, 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 be before, go, go, because go. I because I'm going to, to turn my camera. Yeah. And this is colors that we have with fiber, with fiber coats and also made French. So this is fiber mm -hmm. coats. That's beautiful. They also look quite pretty. Yeah. 
I love fiber coats, how they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and now I'm going back to camera and we will, yeah. So, sorry, what was your question? Like some, uh, what we have to warn our clients buying these products, what oh, the biggest yeah. mistakes are that they can make, like, or watch out for not doing? If they will apply uh, their product too thick. So we always have to evaluate how much product we have to apply. Otherwise, it simply will run away. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, yes, something like that. And also comparing uh, to uh, fiber coat, uh, rubber base uh, has quite strong heat reaction in LED lamp. Mm -hmm. So we'll automatically so start applying it thinner <laughs> when the clients complain. Uh, but uh, you know, funny story is that you cannot apply it thicker <laughs> because uh, it just will run away. <laughs> okay. Is it uh, thicker than gel polish base and top? Yes. Okay. It's, it's, it's slightly thicker, but it's thinner than fiber coat. Okay. <laughs> well, so, I would love I'm, that product. I need to try that. I'm, I'm sure that you, you, you completely will love that product. And also about smell, because you know that I, I, I'm smelling everything. Me too. <laughs> I go yes. to the shows and smell products. People like, uh, and I'm like, well, I just know what is in there if I smell. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say that uh, this, uh, this, this has just normal gel smell, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not stink. It's not like uh, look like smelling like acid. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. So this is also uh, can, can give us the idea that we have quite, uh, quite good and, and, yeah, and safe product. Mm -hmm. And when you file it, how does it feel? Is it is like a smooth, a soft, or is it quite uh, strong? Bo 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 both of them, you know, because you see that they are very flexible, so it mm -hmm. means that both of them, during the filing, they feel very soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, when, I know when I file the fiber cord, you have the feeling that it's like almost like, Undercured, but it's not because it's just so, no, no, no. so soft. Like, yeah. The last layers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And again, you just can soak it off in acetone if you want. That's also possible. But this is for people who are already soaking uh, their product in acetone. Yeah, I don't. I don't recommend okay. that either. <laughs> Honestly, to say, you know, I, I never did it on clients. I did it only on myself, but never on clients. I probably wouldn't <laughs> because... do it on myself either. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, I, I, I know what I'm doing, so that's why for myself, because it's quicker, so I can do it, but again, not, not often. And again, only like, like to test, mm -hmm. but uh, mainly like, um, yeah. I, you know, when you know how you, how you have to file, then you have no problem actually with filing. Yeah. Well, therefore, yes. I have online uh, e-file classes, so I can teach filing, so you don't need to soak anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and especially because, you know, I, I know that I can soak off uh, magnetic because I know that this is a safe product. But if I would be working with some other product, I would think very twice, very twice. Because problem with acetone is that it's opening our pores Mm -hmm. And if I have a product that maybe it's too aggressive or I have undercured product, then actually this aggressive stuff is going directly inside of my skin, actually uh, like uh, creating more possibilities for, for allergy reaction. <laughs> Hello from reality. I understand that you're in the matrix, but you know, this is the reality. <laughs> this is two pills, red and blue, which one you will choose. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> no comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I know that, you know, sometimes we, I, I also would like to live in an ideal world, but unfortunately, it, it, it's not exist. Yeah. We, we have to understand what we are doing and we have to uh, understand um, what result we can get. Yeah. Um, one more question. If I'm applying... Uh, gel polish color on top of rubber base. Do I have to wipe the sticky layer or should I leave it on or? Honestly to say, because, you know, I'm a person who would love to uh, control at least something that I can control, I would do it. Because, you know, uh, uh, I would say that rubber base, it has, uh, yeah, not quite thick, but some sticky residue. Mm -hmm. Not thick, but, but it's there. Uh, so I would, uh, I would suggest you to, at least with dry nail wipe, 
-hmm. remove uh, the, the excess of sticky residue. Otherwise, if I will not do it and I will uh, apply the product direct uh, gel, uh, gel polish directly from the bottle to the nail, then I have a chance that my product just will run to the side walls. And then, of course, it will not cure from the sides. That totally makes but sense. Yeah, but but again, you know, it's also uh, it also depends the way how you're applying because how you're applying the color because at Magnetic we are teaching our students to apply first color in very thin layer like a base layer, cure it, and then use the brush from the bottle. And in my opinion, this is the most precise way uh, how to apply color. Then you don't need any brushes actually mm -hmm. to correct it in the cuticle because your application will be already perfect. You are like creating a border that your color will not go uh, get over this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, I have to say for, for those who don't know, we, Natalia and I, we know each other since like 10 years. We celebrated 10 years this yeah. month. And um, we... We hear each other's minds, so we don't even need to talk sometimes. <laughs> That's why. <I'm, laughs> um, uh, but sometimes, how you apply some like old style gel polish, um, it yeah. also pulls back a little bit from the cuticle. Would that happen if I don't, don't wipe it? Close the door. Yeah. Uh, so I would say, and especially for this old style. I would suggest to remove sticky residue. Mm -hmm. I would suggest. Then you will not have this shrinking. Okay, perfect. Because, because if you will have this uh, excess of uh, sticky residue, then it will be, you know, like uh, your, your product, your next layer will uh, run like, like, like on ski, you know, from mm -hmm. there. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, and you know, so we have more chances for shrinking. Okay, amazing. I'm excited to try it out. Did I ask all the questions I had? Do you have anything else to add or should I, something I should ask you? <laughs> I think that actually we, we talked about everything. So, okay, let's make a little summary about our meeting. Great idea. Uh, but, yes. Uh, so, um, if I want to make a little extension, I will use fiber coat. If I want to have really perfect gel polish application with amazing highlights, it will be rubber base or fiber coat. If I have very thin nails uh, and they are damaged ones and also they, uh, they are wet, uh, I will use rubber base. If I want to uh, create a little extension with any gel i will use any other gel for extension and i will use fiber coat so natural nail this is for rubber base and uh, just for rubber base <laughs> um, and uh, a little extension also with um, uh, for rubber coat but again little extension we also can make with rubber base as well but this is just extremely flexible you know yeah i understand but also the rubber base is a base for any other product that's yes. why it's a base and fiber yes. coat is a coat so it can coat any other product i think it's it's an idea to remember that okay <laughs> well because like if you if you make an extension with a gel and yeah. you, you want to use one of those, then the fiber coat goes, can go on top of it. You do ex make extension with a gel. With the, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, from, from, the, from that point, it makes sense. Yes. Yeah. But and, if and you, then, yeah. But, but again, you know, if, if you want to pinch it slightly, then it will be actually a uh, fiber coat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is actually the difference. And again, if you have... Uh, if you have a client and she's coming, she is asking about rubber base. Okay, there is rubber base. Yeah. Safe product, high quality product, made made in Europe with and uh, uh, following all European rules and regulations. Just just high quality product. <laughs> I'm very excited uh, to try it out, and um, the order is. Um placed it's not on the way yet so it will be soon okay. on the way so if people um from north america would like to order it uh go ahead and pre-order it to make sure you get uh, one of the first uh, bottles arriving in north america um 
And that's pretty much it. And I like the idea to uh, make a video about top gels because we have so many of them and there are little differences um, that are probably important to talk about and we will discuss the date and everybody can just watch uh, the announcements on Facebook, Instagram and that's it. <laughs> Do you mind if I will steal this video from my YouTube channel? You are absolutely welcome to. You can do Thank whatever. You. <laughs> Thank you, you very have much. All the rights. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because you, you know, I, I have I have two channels. One channel first was uh, for Russian language, and then I change it for English language, and actually I keep it that way. Yes. And another language, it's Ukrainian, and I'm still developing this, so, but still, you know, I have a lot of uh, people, English-speaking people, so I would like uh, to, to share with them this information. Absolutely, so you can share them. it with the whole world with your uh, YouTube channel, and I will. Um, and we can do it many other times, and we can always uh, put it on you and my YouTube channel. What is your YouTube channel for those who are in Europe and speaking English? Tell us. Yeah, my uh, channel is uh, Natalia Grizenko, Magnetic Trainer. That's easy. Mine is Nadia Beauty for those who are on my continent. <laughs> uh, Nadia Beauty, N-A-D-J-A, and then Beauty. Just, just me. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very and much. I really love you here. I really love you here. Thank you look, you look amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I love it. And I just messaged <laughs> my uh, my girl that I uh, I need to do something with them. Well, I'll keep them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much. Love you. Still okay, you thank back. you, thank you, Julia, and, and thank you all for watching us. If you will have any questions, just uh, contact us, and we will answer. Anytime. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> bye Thank bye. Thank you. Bye bye.